Hi, Lex Berman here with part 4 of the QGIS 2.10 tutorial. This section is about point in polygon calculations. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to what I'm trying to do is find all of the countries in Africa and I want to find out how many airports there are in each country. So I'm going to First, create a layer of just the states in Africa, and then I'm going to do a calculation to find out how many of the airports overlap with that state. It's a point in polygon calculation. So the first thing I need to do is I need to just select all the states in Africa, and I'm going to use the continent to do that. So I will make this continent layer active and select it, and then I want to use my vector research tool select by location calculator or tool and I want to find all the features in the natural earth countries layer that intersect features in the continent layer that are currently selected and hit OK. And it's selected more than I want actually some stuff in Europe and if I zoom out a little bit you'll see even one in, uh, in South America. So now what I want to do is sort of like manually deselect a couple of these countries. Now to do that you got to make sure that your the layer that you have the selection in is the active layer, which is my countries layer. And now I want to deselect a couple of the countries and the way I'll do that is go to the select tool and I'll hold down the control key and click on one of these countries like France. And you see France turns off, and then I'll do Spain. By the way, the one in South America was part of France. I'll turn to Spain, do Portugal, and that's about what I want. I just want these African countries. So I'm okay with this. And now back to this, this layer control. I want to go to the layer, right-click, and save as a new file that just contains my African states. So instead of airports, I'll call it Africa States as a shape file. Pull this up so you can see it. Africa States, save. And I, I want to go ahead and uh, change the coordinate system now. And the reason why I want to, by the way, only the selected features. So just that selection that I've got is going to go into my African States. The reason I need to change the coordinate system is that WGS 84 is lat long decimal degrees and the units are decimal degrees. So in order to do um, some point in polygon and uh, aerial calculations, I really want it to be, actually the point in polygon won't matter, but later I wanted to do aerial calculations like uh, density calculations by kilometer, square kilometer. And to do that, you need a projected coordinate system in a unit of measure such as meters. In any case, we'll just show you how to change the projection here. So we want to do a selection. We want to select a projection. And we want to search for one that we can see in the, in the list here. But if I wanted to search for it, I could look for the Gaul stereographic projection 54016. It's a spherical. It's not a spherical projection. It's a world projection. So this is the one I want, 54016. And if you look in the definition at the bottom, and you look around for me units, you'll see that it's in meters. Unit equals m meters, that's fine. And also it's just a great projection. So let's go ahead and save that. Now I've got my African states saved in this projection, the selected features, okay. There they are. Now they, they look the same because our project is actually in the original projection of WGS 84. See? But I can change that now to this. I can choose the this Gall stereographic, which is in meters, and say apply. Okay. And now you see it's this beautiful Peters, so-called Peters Gall stereographic projection. And there it is. So now what I want to do is I want to count the number of each of these points that falls within each country. 
find out how many airports there are in each country. So I can do that by um, using a vector tool, vector analysis, point and polygon. I want to count the polygon vector layer of African states and the points are what I want to count in the airports. I can aggregate on, on IDs in case I had multiple features that really should only be counted once, but I want each airport counted separately, so I'll use the object ID. I'll use a statistical method of just summing them, how many are there, and I'll create a new field in my file that's called point count, and I need to output it now to a new file, and I'll call it African states point in polygon. So basically I'm saying how many airports are there in each state in Africa. I'll add it to the canvas. Okay, input layers, this is a good warning. Input layers have non-matching CRS, which may cause unexpected results. Okay, close. So let's see if it worked. We can do that. Well, actually, we should open the uh, attribute table and go look at that point count. You can see it's null, null values. They were not in the same coordinate system. So I need to take my African airports and export those to the coordinate system that I want to use. That's going to be airports in Gaul projection. Change it to that other projection. And just save them all. So now I've got them in this. I'll make sure that layer is not on. Now I want to redo this pip calculation. I'll remove it using the two vector layers that are in the same coordinate system. Points in polygon vector layer. I don't want the airports, I want this one in the correct coordinate system. And now I still need to output it. I'll just overwrite the old one, African States PIP. Do you want to overwrite it? I place it. Yes. And add it to the canvas. Okay. It threw no warning, so it's probably a little better. And now I have these African States. I can check out the attribute table and see that the point count actually has some values. I've got 26, I've got 1 and 2 and so on. Now I can actually do a nice properties and a style and I can go and change it to a graduated symbol set. I can choose the column containing the values point count and I could do equal intervals if I want and just classify that. Uh, sure, apply, oh no, classify, there it is. So it's from white to blue, apply, and if I look at that, it shows that South Africa by far has the most airports and these have very few, but there's no way to distinguish in the classification that I used between those middle values. I'll try maybe Jenks, I think is a better case for this. And you still see the highest, but you see a little bit of differentiation, perhaps, depending on your classification system. So what we've done is just gone from a scatter of points to knowing the, the number of them per country, which we could actually label if we like. We could create a label based on that point count value. And the text could be actually uh, say yellow and the buffer could be black and a little bit larger than this make the text larger as well you can see it changing this is what it'll look like on the top it's kind of nice so you can actually see the values here there's like 91 airports in South Africa 
and so on. There's 48 in Algeria, 24 in Madagascar. So this just gives you an idea of how to use the uh, point in polygon tool and uh, a little bit about reprojection and how geoprocessing does not work if you have two layers that you want to process that are not in the same projection.